I'm Sam, and welcome to Writing with Sam. Yeah, today we're going to be writing well, my letter. Yep, we're going to be practicing writing the letter S, like S for Sam. Yeah, it's my favorite. So we got to remember that S, upper and lower, both have the same exact shape. So the size is going to be super important. Let's head right over the table and uh, get our practice on. So today is going to be a fun writing day for me because we are writing my first letter, which is the letter S. So I'm going to start by picking up my pencil. I want to point the pencil right at me. And then I use my pointy finger and my thumb to make a little pinchy. And then I'm going to grab the pencil up around here. Okay, not right down the end. Well, certainly not way up here, but like right around here. I'm going to grab it, pinch it, and then just flip it right back into my hand. And that's a pretty good grip for holding that pencil. Now... The letter S is really important to use these lines because size is going to be very important. So what we'll notice is this top line, this top straight line that goes across, that touches the cat's head. So we're going to call that the headline. And then this part that goes dot, 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 dot right through the cat's collar. Yep, that line, we're going to call it the collar line. And then there's one more line that goes straight across down near the bottom, touches the cat's feet. We're going to call it the, that's right, the foot line. And then the cat also has a tail that kind of hangs down low. But um, with the letter S, we don't really need to worry about that. Our letter doesn't go down low like that. Okay, so to make an uppercase S, I want to start not up on the headline, but a little bit under the headline. And I want to go up and kind of make like a, eh, like a little mini rainbow sort of shape, right? And I want to go back towards the cat with it, okay, towards the cat's direction. And then I'm going to keep on going and start curving like... Almost like I'm going to make an egg. But when I get to about here along the collar line, instead of curving up and going into the egg, I'm going to curve the other direction and go down this way. And then stop. All right? So it almost looks like a snake. You know, and snake starts with a sound like an S. S is the first letter in snake. So it kind of looks a little bit like a snake. Now, here's a tricky thing that might help you remember if you got it the right direction. Right now, if this part up here was square, it would look a little bit like a number five, right? See how that would look a little bit like a five? Uh-huh. If it looks, watch this, if it looks like that and it looks more like a two, yeah, that's no good. That's backwards. We don't want it to be backwards. We want it to look a little bit like a five. But instead of having straight parts, it's all curvy because snakes don't usually hang out straight. They're all kinds of curvy. Now, the lowercase s, it's exactly the same shape, but it's a lot smaller because it only goes from the collar line down to the foot line. So this is a tricky one. So you want to start a little bit under the collar line and go up like a rainbow and over the rainbow and then come back around like you're going to make that egg shape. But instead of finishing the egg, you're going to go back down to the uh, foot line and then curve yourself right back up. And you can see that the uppercase s and the lowercase s are both the same shape, but they're very different sizes. Uppercase from the headline to the foot line, and lowercase from the collar line to the foot line. And that is the letter S, like for the word Sam, which is my name. Thanks for joining me, dudes.